What's yeah, up, Hacksters? Here with Kitty Young. Here at the Microsoft Garage. Hello. What's up? Good. Hey, everyone. So where are we? What is this place? This is the garage in Microsoft. Whoa. It's a makerspace for our employees. Kind of giving us an awesome little sort of tour today. Yeah, right? exactly. We have a lot of awesome makers here today. <laughs> so I see a bunch of uh, fabric equipment here, and that's yeah. obviously something you, you work with a lot. So uh -huh. what do you do? Do you teach people workshops? Do you yeah, I do teach uh, workshops on wearables. We just did a Make Life workshop last week. Cool. So the, it's the Wearable Tech 101. Did you do a project for it? or? Uh, we did a little hand uh, handmade decoration, like um, a patch. You can light up but the same idea can be scaled up into a full garment so just, wow. just an introductory workshop I think that's something a lot of people want to know like they know how to make like, little small things but big things are like really kind of more challenging or intimidating yeah. also like how do you convert what you do now the process into something manufacturable repeatable so yeah. you're big on manufacturing <laughs> <laughs> yeah I try to uh, see how we can turn prototypes into products so to scale it up so that more people can benefit from our inventions how do you think the industry needs to change in order to uh, make that happen. Yeah. Um, I think that's from Destiny. You gave a whole <laughs> talk about this, so I know you have Yeah, an idea. open source. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, I so think a lot of technologies uh, so need to be democratized uh, for people to have access did, on. on. So remote. when uh, you have more so open source be, uh, projects uh, that people can learn from, uh, uh, we can allow people so to be more creative. Like so if you look at the maker community, uh, the projects that people do there is really, really interesting. Mm. And a lot of times it's not thought by bigger companies before. So it's about yeah. having sort of a, a less structured and less confined point of view? Uh, yeah, um, and, uh, and so the full providing the technology to people so people can right. so use it for anything that they find that. important and interesting. Super cool. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind me t if we take a really quick look at a yeah. couple of things you have here? Sure, nice. yeah. Oh, yes. This cool yeah. solar-powered outfit, could mm -hmm. you tell us about it? Yeah, this is my first build in the garage. No way. It uses the solar panel and 3D printing. So you can walk outside in the sunlight and charge your devices. That's so, so cool. Yeah, it's really useful. I actually wore this in Maker Fair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, my phone ran out of battery, and then because I saved up the charge in my uh, portable battery, then I plug into my phone. The recent build um, using some circuits from. Crazy circuits. Oh, cool! The Lego Adreno people. Nano. Yeah, and uh, this uses a heart rate to um, link the LEDs according to your heart rates. <laughs> oh, well, nice. Yeah. So, if you put these uh, electrodes on your body, the LEDs can reflect your your heart rate. Oh, wow! Yeah. So I'm making this like a, um, for special events. And I'm wearing this to a friend's uh, wedding. Yeah, cool, very and special event. Yeah, it's my it's my painting, so I'm gonna present the painting to my friend. Um, oh, that's so cool. On the fabric. <laughs> Do you have a name for this dress? Flower. I don't have a better name. It's <laughs> a good name. It's very but descriptive. It's like my favorite, one of my favorite flowers is outside our apartment. This is our advanced maker space with uh, some heavier duty equipment uh -huh. like CNC mill, laser cutter. That's the yeah. form lab printer. Tormak, yeah. super legit. So anyone has good idea, they can come to the garage and build prototypes. That's so cool. We're down in Sunnyvale, California, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have a smaller one in San Francisco too. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Yeah.